All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next match up on this Holiday Fantasy Sims is actually not holiday related. We have a match here from the other side of the world. We're trying to break stuff up, all right? We want to make sure that you have enough holly jolly holiday fun, but at the same time, we don't want it to be too holly jolly for you. We don't want you to get holly jolly overload, all right? So, we're about to do a match that's a four, fatal four-way grudge match. It is four characters from, well, you're going to see how they're all related in just a moment. Especially when you see the arena, you may get an idea of what they're all from. However, what this is going to be is a ladder match. Meaning that ladders will be legal. They'll be able to climb ladders, jump off of ladders, use ladders as weapons. There'll be ladders placed all around the ring. It's going to be pretty crazy. It's not false count, false count anywhere. You still have to get pinned or submitted in the ring. But ladders are completely legal in this match. So, definitely interesting. We're going to see what happens. I hope you guys are excited. It's almost done loading, so I'm <laughs> trying to kill time by the time it loads here. People are all guessing. Is it going to be horror movies? Is it going to be cartoon characters? You're about to find out. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, broadcasting live from New Donk City, which if you didn't know, New Donk City is in Birmingham, England. I didn't know if you knew that or not. New Donk City. That's right. One of the very popular locations from this year's very... Uh, highly acclaimed video game outing Super Mario Odyssey. Fatal four way ladder match. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, our first competitor tonight in this fatal four way ladder match, it's Torbjorn! Torbjorn from Overwatch. That's right. Last year's hit FPS sensation that swept the world. Torbjorn has been on a tear recently. Actually, no, I don't know if anyone even uses Torbjorn anymore. But anyway, here he is Torbjorn. I think now you're kind of getting an idea for what this match may be. Fatal 4-way ladder match. Look at this amazing stage. New Donk City. There he is. Torbjorn. Yes. Yes. Now, it is important to note that building turrets is not allowed in this match. So, Torbjorn's just going to have to do what he can with his hands, feet, and fists. All right. Who's next up? Who is this? What's going on? Oh! Well, ladies and gentlemen, also from a, a, a recent video game outing from last year, from Mortal Kombat 10, we've got Sub-Zero. He's not plain zero. He's not above zero. He's not exactly zero. He is Sub-Zero, ladies and gentlemen. And he's here, and he's ready. Look at him. He's primed. He's ready to win this match for his... Fighting game universe. He looks pretty serious here. He's pretty good at Sub-Zero, by the way. Look at all the detail and everything on his arms, the belt. It looks pretty much like he's straight out of a, 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 you know, an actual Nether Realm game. Here he goes. Hit it the way. Whoa! Look at that vertical leap ability of Sub-Zero. I think he used some, some northern winds to fly into the ring there. Very nice. By the way, you enjoyed this outdoor arena, right? The outdoor arena. Okay. So, it's a fatal four-way match. we still got two entrants in this match. Who, who will they be? We're about to find out. we got Torbjorn from Overwatch and Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 10. I like how his, his hands are frozen. Look at that. Frozen hands of Sub-Zero. That's actually a new graphical thing they added this year is the ability to have, like, glowing on your character. So, <clears throat> all right. Who's next in this fatal four-way ladder match? Who will it be? I don't know. I don't even know. Completely random. Who could it be? Oh, my God. Making a return appearance, ladies and gentlemen. Here in the Fantasy Sims. Crash Bandicoot. Straight off of his Crash Bandicoot Remastered Trilogy. The hot game from this summer on the PlayStation 4. Here he is. Many people. Oh, Crash Bandicoot's a kitty game. Then they actually tried to play that shit. <laughs> He's here, folks. He's been rejuvenated. Crash Bandicoot Remastered was a huge hit this summer. Will Crash Bandicoot... Make a comeback. Will there be new Crash Bandicoot games in the future? It remains to be seen, but right now, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Crash Bandicoot. Very nice. Looks like he wants some Wumpa Fruits. Look at his face. He's hungry. Look at those teeth. He's ravenous. He's here to take it to his opponents. Very nice. Crash Bandicoot. All right. So that's three. It's only three. Who's going to be the fourth and final... Uh, entrant into our Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match here today for Video Game Supremacy. I think you now know the, the, the reasoning behind this game. Oh my god, the crowd's going wild! 
Who is it? Who's the crowd popping for you? Hear that? The crowd is popping. Someone's on the entrance ramp. I'm getting word. Who could it be? Oh my god, no! He's making his entrance through the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who started it all. The first assassin in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Altair is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Altair is here, and he is ready. Altair, he's already a high flyer, doing those leaps of faith off the tall towers. Leaving a leap of faith off the top of a ladder is going to be no big deal for him. He's used to this, right? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. People are now going nuts in the stream chat for Altair. Altair is going to win. Screw Crash. Altair, baby. Here he is. All right. However, you do have to realize sometimes Altair gets caught up in collecting, like, feathers and shit in the middle of a city. So if he sees, like, a feather floating through the crowd, he may just run off and lose the match. So we have to see what happens here. Too many collectibles in those games. Anyway. All right. Torbjorn. Sub-Zero. Crash Bandicoot. Altair. Fatal 4-Way. Ladder match. Who's going to win? Video Game Supremacy in New Dog City. Let's get this going. Here we go. Right out of the gates, we got Crash and Torbjorn going at it. Torbjorn throws Crash out of the ring. Meanwhile, Sub-Zero, they're planting Altair. This one may be a hard one to keep track of because there's so many competitors at a time. You're going to see two fights going on constantly at once. We actually got the nice Donkey Kong background there set up for New Donk City. I like that. All right. It looks like Torbjorn is totally going to work on Crash. Meanwhile... Sub-Zero completely dominating Altair inside the ring. So, pretty interesting. Look at this. Sub-Zero. Oh! Plants Altair face first, showing some technical prowess. Crash now is coming back on Torbjorn. Nope. Torbjorn reverses. Sub-Zero. Oh, disrespectful chop to the face of Altair. And then a DDT. Keep in mind, this is a ladder match, meaning they could go anywhere they want in the arena. There's no count out. So, right now, we got Torbjorn and Crash on the ramp. I can't even see what's going on. Altair is reversed on Sub-Zero. Is now getting control here of the match. All right, Altair. Look at this. Altair. Oh, no. Sub-Zero slaps that dropkick out of the way. Meanwhile, Torbjorn still dominating Crash Bandicoot out there on the ramp. I don't know what's going on. The, the, the stream chat cannot decide who they want. We got people cheer, cheering for Sub-Zero. Altair. Everyone. Everyone has a favorite in this match. Altair just reversed on Sub-Zero. Look at this. Wow, what a combination there. Slamming Sub-Zero to the mat. Meanwhile, Torbjorn still taking it to Crash. Crash finally reversing on the map, or on the ramp there. There he goes. Crash finally. Oh! Crash just planted Torbjorn on that ramp. Crash picking up Torbjorn. Crash, no wait. Torbjorn reversing. Meanwhile, in the ring, we got Altair stomping on Sub Zero. There's so much action here, it's hard to keep control of, of all of it and keep track of it. Uh oh. Altair putting Sub Zero. No! Sub Zero reverses. Sub Zero from the top rope. Oh my god, a spinning elbow! From the top rope, Sub-Zero showing off his ninja action. Ninjutsu. Uh-oh. Sub-Zero on the outside. Sub-Zero goading Altair. Get up. Get up, Altair. I'm going to show you a finish. Fatality. Wow. A flying frozen shoulder tackle. Sub-Zero playing to the crowd here. Seems to be a fan favorite. Meanwhile, Torbjorn and Crash still going at it on the outside of the ring. Torbjorn now just pulling Crash over. What's he going to do? No Crash reverses. Crash getting out of that predicament. Oh my goodness. Crash now. Is that Torbjorn against the wall? Look at this. No reverse. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh my god. That was a jackhammer pile driver by Altair. Altair is going to the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. What's Altair going to do? A flying elbow drop onto Sub Zero already. This is wild. Oh no, Sub Zero now reversing. Will Crash and Torbjorn ever actually get into the ring? I don't know. My goodness. What a match. What a match. Boom. Nice suplex onto Sub-Zero. Meanwhile, spinning neckbreaker from, from Crash Bandicoot onto Torbjorn. Crash, what's Crash doing? Crash, I think Crash might actually be going for a ladder in this ladder match. Yes, he is. Look, Crash Bandicoot finally introducing a ladder into the ladder match. There it goes. I think Crash said, I've had enough of Torbjorn. Let's get started with ladders, baby. All right, what's Crash doing? Now? Wait a minute. Where's Crash going? Well, Sub-Zero's got that ladder. Crash went back after Torbjorn. Look at this. Crash. Crash Bandicoot. He's got Torbjorn. What's he going to do with him? What's he doing? What's he doing? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh. That's new. He did basically a running slam into the barrier. Wait a minute. Sub-Zero's got the briefcase. Sub-Zero's got the briefcase in this ladder match. He's got this video game supremacy contract. No. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, my God. Wow. 
He caught him onto his shoulders and dropped him onto his back. Sub-Zero is out of this. So you guys may not realize this, but that contract at the top of the ring, has a, it's a contract for your own exclusive video game franchise. So if Crash gets it, he gets rebooted. If Torbjorn gets it, he gets his own first-person shooter based only around him. Uh, if Altair gets it, they reboot Assassin's Creed with him as the, the star again. And if Sub-Zero gets it, they'll probably make another shitty MK Mythologies or something, and it'll suck. So anyway, here we go. Torbjorn. Oh, no. Torbjorn accidentally ran into the ladder. Look at this. Oh. Bull running Bulldog in the middle of the ring. Torbjorn. What is he doing? Look at this. Torbjorn. No, reversed. Crash now. Take out Torbjorn. No. Torbjorn reverses. Crash now. Oh, my God. Altair with the, with the ladder. This is out of control at this point. Look at Altair. Face first into the turnbuckle goes Crash. Here comes Torbjorn now. Sub-Zero misses with the running drop kick. <clears throat> Altair is trying to do something with the ladder. He just keeps picking up and dumping it on the ground by accident. What is he doing? What the hell is Altair doing? I think Altair's AI is messed up. Look. Come on, Crash, get in there and stop that. He's going to keep doing that for the entirety of the match. Oh, my God. All right, Crash finally stopped him. <laughs> okay, then. Here we go. Oh my god, a beautiful somersault by Sub-Zero on the Torbjorn. Meanwhile, Altair taking it with a, a big suplex to crash. Wow, Sub-Zero just disrespecting through Torbjorn out of the ring. Sub-Zero, oh my god, Altair taking out Sub-Zero. Altair now has the ladder again. He hits Sub-Zero, he takes him out. Altair is setting up the ladder. Altair is climbing the ladder. Yes, will we see an Assassin's Creed reboot with Altair in charge? Here he goes, he's got it. He's got the briefcase! Ladies and gentlemen, Altair's got the briefcase! Will Sub-Zero stop him? Sub-Zero, what's he doing? Sub-Zero is now going up. Sub-Zero! Clubbing blow to Altair's stomach. Oh my god, they're atop the ladder. No, Altair! Oh, reversal on Sub-Zero! What's gonna happen here? Now Torbjorn's in the ring! Torbjorn! Torbjorn's got the ladder! Torbjorn! No, he couldn't stop him. Sub-Zero! Torbjorn now going up the ladder. Oh! To the ass of Sub-Zero! Clubbing blows to the ass of Sub-Zero. Torbjorn now. Stopping Sub-Zero from getting that briefcase. We don't want another MK Mythologies. The first one sucked. All right, Torbjorn's got him down on the mat. Picks him up. Wrenches the knee. That's going to really severely impact his ability to climb that ladder, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Popsicolo did a $2 tip. He says Torbjorn thinks Crash Bandicoot is Junkrat or a Junkrat skin, and he's trying to keep him from destroying his turrets. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Crash Bandicoot. Look at this. The Crashinator. He just hit him with the Crashinator. That was his finishing maneuver on Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero's going to be out of this for a while. Now Crash taking out Altair. He's going for Torbjorn. Wait, what's Torbjorn doing? Crash. Oh! Torbjorn just took a spill. of A long fall off of a very tall turnbuckle there. Torbjorn not feeling so good. Uh-oh. Altair now. Throws Crash into Sub-Zero. Reverses now. Crash out to the other side of the ring. Altair with a beautiful standing drop kick. And Sub-Zero just planted Torbjorn. Crash spills out of the ring. And that ladder is... Wait a minute. Altair. No, reverse. I thought Altair was going for a finisher. No. Sub-Zero. Spinning neck breaker to Altair. Sub-Zero. He's throwing Altair to the outside of the ring. What is happening? This match is out of control. This is fun as hell. There's so much going on. Sub-Zero down to the top rope. What's he going to do here? Oh, my God. Sub-Zero jumped to the outside of the ring. A suicide, a suicidal. Oh, wait a minute. Torbjorn, Torbjorn's all alone. Torbjorn is all alone. Torbjorn has the contract. Altair's better get in there to stop Torbjorn. He's gotta hurry. Altair's gotta hurry. Altair, all right, he's up the ladder. No, wait, he screwed up. He fell off the ladder. Torbjorn, Torbjorn. Oh my God, Torbjorn. Torbjorn has won the contract. Torbjorn now has exclusive rights. He will have his own game franchise. Can you believe it? Torbjorn, of all people, the smallest man in this match, comes up the biggest winner. I never would have predicted that Torbjorn would have won that. I never in a million years would have predicted that Torbjorn would have won that match. No way. If only Altair didn't have a greasy boot. He was going up, look, he was going up the ladder stuff, and he slips right here, slips down the ladder. It was actually Torbjorn's beard grease was dripping down onto the ladder. His beard sweat and grease greased the ladder. And Altair slipped off the ladder and that was it. Torbjorn 
That's it, Torbjorn. And now his own gaming franchise. What will it be? Torbjorn's Turret Building Championships. Torbjorn's, uh... Torbjorn's Swedish, uh, Challenge. I don't know what it's gonna be. But Torbjorn, ladies and gentlemen, Torbjorn has won, and Torbjorn now will have his own gaming franchise. Wow. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, when we return, the King of Christmas Tournament continues. It's our third of four qualifying matches. This match is going to be very different from the previous two that we just saw. Let's just say there's going to be a little bit of steel involved, all right? So don't go anywhere. When we return, match three of four in the King of Christmas tournament continues. See you then.